hello my beautiful people how you guys doing my name is Yvonne Kadiri and you're welcome to my youtube channel this is a tutorial on how I did this closure wig it's beginner friendly so you can actually do it yourself so this video is basically a beginner's friendly tutorial on how to make your closure wig you need your scissors your wig cap I normally use two wig cap when I'm using this. I use this one, then wool or thread, whichever one suits you, you can make use of. Then your measuring tape. Please, if you don't have a measuring tape, I will show you an alternative on how to do it. Then I have this beautiful wee hair here. It's a 300 gram. And this is the closure. Of course, you need your pin. To hold your mannequin with your hair net see you need your mannequin and also your wig stand or if you don't have your wig stand you can as well fix this on your lap and make use of it i usually use this so i don't put a band behind the hair you can if you do this use this method you actually don't need a band behind the hair because this already serves as a band to it there's a line for the hairline for it and here also it has a center here you can easily locate which is the center and you use your pin next step is to wear your hair your wig cap on the panty hose and it also have um, this one also have a back and a front so we're going to wear it like this because this one already then this will be the center to be inside so yeah it's now the next stage is to put on our closure since this closure have a middle pattern be sure to bring out your closure half inch longer than where the wig cap is pin it drag it tight and also you put your pin on it pull this side down and you put your pin you drag it down again now it's time to sew our closure I've gotten to the end i'm still going to go around it again just to secure every space that i left out while sewing it we have gotten to the end of the closure on this other side this is the second time we're sewing it please don't end it here don't cut it here because we're trying to make this closure look as neat and flawless as possible so we have to take the, ne the needle backwards again halfway here so it will be very very neat you won't see where they tie the thread where it was ended backwards like this so we'll tie it somewhere here. That's all for the closure now. It's time to Put the bundles in so here we need a tape but if you don't have a tape i will also show you 
another easy method to use so here is the center where we started the hair from so i'll use a red pen so i will know okay this is the middle so we mark it straight down where it's like this use your chalk this is just for easy demonstration so you have a good line to follow through yeah so step two from the back you start with one inch so we draw a line Now we'll do one inch, then we'll draw it here. Here again, another one inch. Okay, you know it ends here. Paraventure, you don't have it measuring tape. Another easy step is just to use your finger and put in between. Like this is almost one, like one inch, your two finger. So you just put it like this. For me, it's easy to use your finger than the measuring tape. So we just put my finger and line, finger and line it right to the end. This is like a sketch, but don't be scared to you, you, you. Even if you're not perfect, it's fine. So you just draw it down. It's easy when you do it like this. Then you know you have a margin you're following. Now we're done with this, and you can say here will be a bit smaller, but you just use your discretion to mark it out. So this hair is quite full. I will be doubling it like this. Only when I get to the front, I'll use one of it. So we start like this. Put like this and so so now we've got into this side so in order to have a very flat base when you flip through you first of all you can put your hand underneath then you start with the down one and so twice Before you put the up one the other bundle on top that way you have a very flat base so you don't have to sew both of them twice especially when the bundle is double drawn it's a bit thick so you sew continue sewing so, so directly under this line here, we just follow the white line. For you not to stress too much, you can also secure the bundle with a pin. So it's just easy for you to sew directly underneath. I'm more faster when I put it on my lap. And I also love using thread than wool, that's yarn. Because this one lasts long, it hardly cuts. But when you start washing your hair, it starts fading out. And then again, 
it will start cutting then you have to re -sew the wig i don't intend to remove this wig it's like a permanent stuff and when you're sewing just give a little space not too much space so the hair will be well secured and tight don't make the thread too long otherwise you struggle with tangling of the thread one and then so then flip through flip it it's not rocket science it's just best watch and explain So I'll go slowly. Okay, now that it's secured, you take this other one and you sew it. Take the two bundles together. You see the way they are. You take the two bundles, then you can start sewing. So now I'm done with one bundle. It's time to put another bundle. You see why it's important. You see now one bundle just stopped right on top of the ear, and they were gonna use the other bundle halfway here, then the last one till. We get to the closure part. Now the trade is almost finished. Like I've gotten to the Part where I can't use it anymore, so I will just cut the thread out. Take it, and then you take it and pass through the in between the thread like this. You sew again, pass it across, yeah, then you take the previous one from the last thread and then you tie it together twice, and you cut out the short one, that's it, and continue sewing. Mm -hmm. Because we're just using just one now for the remaining parts. Because I want it flat, flat, flat. Flat, flat, flat. Flip through. So we'll just be sewing on top this last one directly under the closure. Doing it now, so just watch. I think it's better washed than explained. Just sew it closely, not on top.
Just use my leave-in conditioner. Spray it. Everything is on a straight line. Don't worry, this white chalk will go out once you wear it. Just give a little space so you won't cut your closure. That is it. Our closure with this. Awesome. Please don't forget to like this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel before you leave.